Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Toffoli is a Winnipeg Jet. You heard me right. Shevel Dayoff has answered our prayers. The Winnipeg Jets have finally went all in on a trade deadline. After acquiring Monaghan a month ago, it looks like the Winnipeg Jets have acquired Toffoli. Everyone is confirming it at this point. It is a done deal. It is picks in place. No prospects are going to the Devils in this situation. It is two picks that are heading to the Devils. For a while, we weren't sure. It looked like it was going to be a second and a third, and that's what it ends up being. The best thing is, is that it's not Montreal's second round, the Montreal's pick this year. We still have Montreal's 35th potential overall pick this year in this year's draft because we traded a th second round pick in 2025 and a third rounder in 2024. So we still have our top trip pick in this year's draft available and we've acquired Tyler Toffoli. Like that is absolutely insane. I've been preaching all week long, patience, patience, patience to every single Jets fan out there because I knew that Shovel Day have had something up his sleeve. It just, every other year I've understood why the Jets didn't go all in. Even though I wanted them to as a fan, I really understood why. When you look at this team, you look at the on ice production, you look at every other team bolstering, they had no excuses this year. Tyler Toffoli is the perfect get for the Winnipeg Jets. He's everything that they needed. He is a legit top six option. Tyler Toffoli is 26 goals on the season, ladies and gentlemen. 20 six goals we just acquired look at the like this is a legit potential first line second line guy at a legit top six guy with amazing numbers coming in to a team that already acquired a center a top six center in Sean Monaghan a month ago and like I said they still have their top asset available like Tyler Toffoli is hu a huge get for this club like I don't think pe people like people are going to really see how good Tyler Toffoli is going to fit in with this team like I I had Tyler Toffoli on my own personal list and the reason why I haven't talked about him is because it just didn't feel like he was going to be the guy that the Jets could afford. But giving up a 2025 second and a 2024 third, and you still get to keep your best pick available, that is absolutely masterclass from Chevy as usual. Um, so I can't even be angry at that because how could you? Like, this, like, that is everything that you want from I'm in shock a little bit, ladies and gentlemen, right now. And again, I believed in Chevy, I 110% believed in this club and in the direction. Um, that we're going with this this year. I, I believe in this team. I've, I'm preaching that all year long, and I believe in Shevel Day Off. I've already talked about it a lot on Twitter lately about how a lot of Jets fans have been acting really spoiled and entitled, and it just it's so good to see a move like this because everyone was freaking out and calling for the pitchforks a couple of days ago when Tarasenko and all these moves were going down on Wednesday, on Tuesday, excuse me. And, you know, now you look at it and this Jets team just got ma massively deeper. You know, now you can potentially don't have to worry about Colbert Fetty and his slump anymore. He, he, you don't have to rely on him to be a top six option for you. You can use him depending on his play and how his hot streak goes and if he's able to get his confidence back. Like, this move just opens up so many lanes for the Winnipeg Jets. Like, you know, now you even look at the Winnipeg Jets lineup with Velarde being out right now. They get a legit guy to come in and help. Now, obviously, I don't think he's going to be playing tonight in Seattle, but maybe he plays with the team in in Vancouver. I don't know. We'll have to see. I would really hope so. I'd love to be able to watch Toffoli's first game, but this is an amazing trade for the Jets, um, and it, it checks all the boxes, and they still have their best asset available to go out there and try to acquire a defenseman, and people really thought that the Jets were going to go out there and acquire a depth guy, you know, and I still think that they might, but this team is going all in. Tyre Toffoli and Sean Monaghan, this is the biggest day for trades with players coming into this team in a very long time, um, because that is a huge trade. Like, even the Paul Stasty trade wasn't on like wasn't a guy with 26 goals like this guy a guy with an almost 30 goal scorer is joining this team a team that's um, like a top tier team in the league but one of the best teams we've seen in Winnipeg Jets history you're getting a 30 goal scorer joining this team almost that is insane for the price they paid it is absolutely a master class and I for one couldn't be happier this is the ex exact move that I was hoping for and expecting Shevel Dayoff to make and not only just Shevel Dayoff but True North putting their money where their mouth is spending to the cap giving up some assets and going out there and acquiring the best guy available you know Toffoli is a, the perfect fit I can't stop saying that like with Eberle gone resigning you know with other guys like, to getting moved on like Toffoli He's played in Canadian markets before. He's played in Vancouver. He's played in Calgary. Now he goes to Winnipeg. Like, this is a guy that's been on Canadian teams for cup runs. He knows how to handle the pressure. He's a veteran experience. You go and you look at Tyler, a cup winner, no doubt, as well, you know, with LA back in the day. Like, you go and you look at Tyler Toffoli's points, you know, um, with Montreal back in 2020. You had the 14 points he put up in 22 games. Last year, with the Calgary, I mean, 2021, with the Calgary Flames, you know, he put up five points in 12.
12 games, you know, like, this is a guy that's had playoff success, and played pretty good, imp- impactful minutes at times, and, you know, like I said, a, cu- a cup winner, uh, with LA, like, oh, this is everything you want, I'm just so excited, I, I can't believe that they actually went out there and did this, so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, how you're feeling about the Winnipeg Jets right now, if you're ex- just as excited as I am, because it is party time in Winnipeg, ladies and gentlemen, and put those pitchforks and torches away, because it's time to celebrate, so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, as always, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and check out all the other affiliate links down in the description below, um, peace, love, and positivity as always, turn on notifications if you haven't already as well, because we're going to be covering lots of other stuff throughout the day so stay tuned for that peace on positivity as always go jets go and i will see you guys in the next one